So what was that? So if there's silence, there can't be sound, right? And if there's sound, there can't be silence. So how can there be a sound of silence? Say so thank you, Art, Gar 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 what, what's the name? Simon and Garfunkel just blew my mind. Like, ugh. Okay, so I have a maybe a little harder question. This is one that kids always ask, like at their Sunday school teacher. Okay, here it goes. If God created me, all people, the planets, seas, trees, stars, and everything in the entire universe, then who created God? Where did God come from? Now, it's hard to imagine how God was there before time began, so let's see if we can't figure this out. Or maybe, maybe it's too big of a job for me, maybe Jim, or maybe, maybe the boss back there would like to come up here and take over, because you're not the only one at risk of getting fired today when we're done, so let, let, let's flip the coin and see what happens. Okay. You guys are just too chatty today. Where's my own mini here? Okay. So, we got this picture on the road here. I've got this picture up here. Let's take a look. Um, what do you see? What, what's that picture of? The street, the street, a road, a road. Is it grass, right? Anything else? Rocks, mountains. mountains, there you go, and rocks. So we got road, grass, mountains, maybe clouds. Okay, so if you were driving this road, could you see what was after that curve? No, no, why not? You said because it's blocked. Because the mountain is in the way, right? So what if you were standing on top of that mountain? Could you look down and see what was after the curve then? Maybe, that's, that's, a, that's a good answer. Because you just say maybe because you don't know what's after that curve, right? So you don't know what you're going to see after the curve, okay? That's kind of how God sees things. Okay, I got that. So you can look down from the mountain and see the first part of the road and the part of the road that comes after the curve, but then maybe past it, you really can't see, because you don't know how many times that mountain's gonna get in your way as you curve it through. Believe me, I used to drive semi-trucks through mountains. You could, they got in the way a whole lot, let's just put it like that. So that's kind of how God sees things. God can see everything at once. Now, in fact, God can even see the future. Okay, let's just say that that first part of the road that you can see is the right now. It's right now, the part you can see is right now. It's what we're doing right now. The part of the road past the curve is the future. Now we don't know what exactly will happen years, days, or even minutes from now, but God sees both the right now, the present, and the future. Now in your Bible, Genesis 1-1, do you guys know what Genesis 1-1 says? The very first thing, if you open up your Bible, what it says? No? You guys are a Sunday school teacher, don't you? <laughs> okay. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So the Bible says that God created the world in the beginning. But if the world was created in the beginning, then when was God created? When? Please come, come. Yeah, I'm sure if I put the microphone to you, if you guys would be probably equally as silent. But what do you think, Jim? You want to try to answer? No, he's going to be silent too? Or? I'll answer. Okay. God is uncreated. God is uncreated. Oh, does that make sense? He says God is uncreated. Is it is uncreated a word? I'm gonna look that up in the dictionary. It is. It is. Did somebody get on? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? 
Um, according to some scientists, the chicken came first because the chicken's actuality and the egg's potentiality. So actuality always, always supersedes potentiality. You was not expected an answer where you are. Okay, so God has always been God, and like you said, no one created him. Now when God talked to Moses, I believe in the burning bush, he says, I am, that is my name. This name of God helps us understand that he is in the past and the future and the right now. Because with God, there is no time. Now that's pretty hard to understand for us. But just remember that if this road is time, God's not, on, not, God's not, he's not on the road. He's on the mountain looking down at the road, seeing everything that happens. So that brings us to our memory verse for July, which is who would like to read it? You always like to read it, so you, you know the rules, you have to stand, you get the memory verse, here it is. This is kind of a tongue twister, so read it right. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. John Henry. Very good, very good. No flat this time? Okay. <laughs> okay. So before we the new gym gets fired, let's pray. Lord, you are an awesome God. You don't have a beginning or an end, and you can see everything that happens at the same time. Help us to trust you because you know everything that will happen. And all God's children say, Amen. Okay, I'm going to take it now.